Why do girls lie? Why don't y'all shoot y'all shots? What's the right way for a boy to shoot their shot? Like, what would a boy have to say to you to, like, successfully shoot his shot? Um, I would say most of the time if a female is not communicating, it's probably because she's not comfortable and that's, like, comfortable to communicate with you, meaning, like, she knows you're not going to listen or she knows, like, there's not even no point well, in her to communicate. Like, if you was explaining something like, I feel like you're not listening to me, then we will probably listen to you more. Dude, be an open book with a female. Yeah, you too open, they try to use that against you. Tell you. It happens every time. And females communicate by arguing. Do not join big friend groups when you first come to college. Like, what is y'all top five red flags? A green flag for me is like if you can hold a conversation. Oh, yes. I hate boring girls. That's a good one. Because girls be boring as fuck sometimes. I do not feel like Karen comes to the air time. Like, I'll put you in my bag a few times, like oh, once or twice. Shit. All right, what'd you date a broken nigga? I feel like March. the ODX shit is just general terms and that applies to people and people just take that and, and just... Like, oh, they be like, yeah. I had to beat that whole ass because I'm an Aries. You know I'm aggressive. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, bro. Like, you're just a human. All right, what's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, One Zach. I am back with the third episode of the One Zach Podcast. To my right, I got my nigga Bryce. Introduce yourself. It's your boy, Bryce, man. Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> then to the left, we have my nigga Skyler. Introduce yourself. It's Sky, y'all. What's up? Skyler. And on this podcast, y'all know we like to expose females for being delusional. But Sky is not as delusional as most females. But we're gonna see we're gonna see if she can make up for y'all because the first two podcasts, the females were just too delusional. So I thought to bring y'all a probably a better option to represent y'all. So question number one, why do girls lie? Why do girls lie? Oh look, can you gotta edit that out because look, my foot was my foot. Hold on, you gotta edit that what? out because my foot, my toes was all up in the camera. Bro, bro, <laughs> why do girls lie? <laughs> why do girls lie? You can hold it. Yeah. The Is there like a specific situation in nah, which they're lying? Why do girls in? lie in general? Why do you think they lie? Um, I mean, I personally don't feel like I lie, so I don't really know why other bitches would lie. But maybe. I feel like if a girl's lying to you, they probably don't really fuck with you, though. So I mean, like, probably because they don't mess with you, really. Okay. That's a good answer. Uh, <laughs> That's a good I, uh, Okay, well, I yeah, feel like be, it depends on the situation. Like, I feel like if a girl's lying to you, it's mainly probably because she really don't fuck with you. Or, like, there, she's being sneaky, obviously, because, like, anybody who's lying is being sneaky. Why you got to lie? All right, y'all. So let me know in the comments. Do y'all agree with what she said? Why you feel like girls lie? Girls lie because they trying to get something out of whoever they lying to. That's just the simple answer for it. Okay, okay. I feel like girls lie just to like they be trying to spare people's feelings. I feel like oh, or hurt people's feelings. That's so true. What? That girls lie to spare people's feelings. That's mm, very true. Yeah. All right. So, what are y'all thoughts on leading people on? I go first with this one. I feel like leading people on. I feel like you shouldn't do it because you'll get karma. But at the same time, I understand if you do do, I understand why you would do it. Because sometimes you just be bored. And you don't mean to do it. And girls be delusional. And they believe I got something that's really not there. And they know it's just for entertainment. And they just still go along with it. That's my opinion. I mean, leading people on, like, don't lead, you know, don't get let on. Don't get let on at all. Because it ain't worth it. You could be doing better things and doing other stuff rather than chasing a female, bro. Come on now. It'd be the other way no, around, too, though. No, his question was leading people. Like, what's your thoughts on leading people on? Oh. Yeah, like, what's your thoughts on just leading people on? I don't get let on. <laughs> you don't leave people on either? Mm -hmm. You free? Yeah. Never yeah, let nobody I think else. you're asking what it means like to be led on. I right, saying like, um, I don't understand why you would. Um, I'm post holders right now. Um, personally, I feel like that's a big problem nowadays. Everybody just lead everybody on because everybody just like entertainment. That's a problem. Yeah. Mm, that's a problem, but I feel like you should never lead anybody on because karma is very much real And anything you do to somebody is gonna come back to you whether it's tomorrow in a couple years And I feel like if you ever want like somebody genuine in your life, why would you lead people on like? Just find somebody genuine and find somebody who match you That sounds good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's like a little that speech, I can't even say that all right, so why don't y'all shoot y'all shots? Do girls shoot why their do shots? Why do females shoot their shots? Or why don't y'all shoot y'all shots? Me, personally, I don't really shoot my shot because I feel like... You the prize type shit. I feel like, why would I shoot my shot? Like, oh, really? I feel like, you know what's up. Like, if, you, if, if a man... I feel like a man... If a man want me, he gonna come to me. Like, you understand me? Like, he gonna come to me. I feel like you should never... I feel like you should... <laughs> 
I really said that she didn't Wait, I'm not done. Delusional. I'm not done with my answer. Oh, damn. But here's the case. I feel like if it's somebody that you really, like, maybe I feel like the only situation I could really see myself, like, shooting my shot is if, like, I genuinely mess with the person and, like, and, like, <laughs> what is you laughing at? I can't say it on camera. Anyways, I feel like the only time I'll really shoot my shot at somebody is if I genuinely like them and, like, we already on a vibe. So it wouldn't be, like, shooting your shot, but it would just kind of be, like, this what's up, you know, like, you know, type shit. Females yeah, don't shoot their shot at all. I'm not going to lie. I was not paying attention to anything she said. Just let me know if y'all agree with her in the comments. My bad for not paying attention. You got anything to say about this? Scott Reed hear what she said. Uh, females do not shoot their shots. They just get a rejection. Most females yeah, don't boys because too, boys get a rejection too. Some of them. I mean, we scared of the rejection, but to an extent though, yeah, like a nigga, go yeah, <laughs> we'll walk up to a female, you know, say what we gotta say, and like, not give a fuck if we get rejected. Now at least we, you know, walked up to him yeah, and said like, something. Me personally, I'm feel like a bitch if I don't shoot shoot my shot at the ground. I want to shoot my shot if I don't do it. I'm be like, but let me a ask bitch. you a question. Does does oh this is a good question. Do you do y'all feel like your perception on the female changes like if? She shoots her shot shot first. Like, yes, definitely, does it definitely. Make it you do. Look like she's like chasing you. Like I'm. I, I mean, she got chasing, she got to have confidence to shoot her shot. She got, yeah. It depends how she do it. Like me personally, I don't know. I don't want to say too much because people I be actually talking to be watching the podcast. So, <laughs> so I don't want, nah, 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 because they gonna try to see, people like so think about this. Now, think if you're about watching this. this and you be talking to Zay, nah, nah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Look, listen. <laughs> I'm saying in general though, cause I know a lot of people that be watching this. So basically. If I was to say something like, oh, I read a girl do this, they're going to do the exact opposite so they can act like they not, you know, they real self. So I can't answer this question because my personal life, people actually be watching this shit, so fuck that. I can't answer this, but I'm going to let my nigga Bryce answer for the boys. You know what I'm saying? I thought y'all was going to give me this time. Fuck no. Can, can you repeat the question one more time? <laughs> 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 like, would you look at a girl different if she shot at you instead of you shooting at her? Nah. I mean, I look at it as the same, just that she got a lot of confidence. Because if he was confident enough to walk up to me and say something, that mean, you know. Yeah, me too. I agree. That's I'd all be I cool. Say. I agree. I really don't, but I can't say that. <laughs> all right, so next question. This for you, Skylar. I can call you Skylar. Why the fuck you said Sky. that? Same shit. Nobody calls me Skylar. <laughs> all right, so what's the right way for a boy to shoot that shot? Like, what would a boy have to say to you to, like, successfully shoot his shot? Hmm. Take notes, boys. I'm putting Instagram on the screen. I feel like I can I I feel like I have a different answer for this. I feel like it's more so things I wouldn't want to hear rather than I feel like there's so I many different ways that a man can approach you I, that I like guess would be good. Like little mama or some shit like that. I know they mm, no, that's so like ooh, like everybody says that like. Uh, All right, so tell us what you don't probably mean. like niggas who just walk up and be like, "What's up?" Like what? <laughs> I just hate what? Hey, <laughs> when they just be like, "What's up?" <laughs> Let me finish. No, when they just come on so like. Like, ugh, like, what's up with you? Like, what's up? You look good. Like, you look good. Like, just all in your face. I don't really like that. Yeah. Or, like... You don't like the mass amount of compliments? No. No, like a nice compliment. Like a like a gentle compliment. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, you look very beautiful tonight. Or, like, I really like, I really like your outfit tonight. Most or something like that. that shit don't work, though. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I feel like it does if you, if for people, girl, like, genuine. Man, fuck mean, that, uh, bro. Niggas, if a nigga walks up to... 80 females and was like, call Autumn, hey, you're beautiful. Like, first Ooh, time seeing it. Like, like, you fine. You fine. That's not. I told you, you already know my matter, bro. I'm going to give y'all a game real quick, bro. Tell her she ugly as fuck when you see her. Even if she not ugly, tell her she ugly. She'll never forget you. She'll always remember that you was the nigga that called her ugly. Even though she might hate you, don't do you that. Can't that fix just, just be smooth, bro. Nah, fuck you. that. Just fuck man smooth, man. Call her ugly. Yeah, be, no, don't this, be no, no, no. No, no, this like advice that. for niggas that's trying to shoot at a girl they know they can't get. Like, you know, y'all have no reason being together type shit. Just yeah. call her ugly before she call you ugly, right? So then she ain't going to never forget you. <laughs> nah, listen. She ain't going to never forget you. So then in the future, like, maybe two weeks, you'll run to her again and start to shoot your shot for real. Then she be like, nah, you made me call me ugly. That's the conversation starting right there. Because I know you probably don't got no game to actually talk to her. But, so. but you could have been started the conversation a different way, nah, right? Like, going through all that. that all right, let me say you a girl. This is an ugly-ass nigga that you don't want to talk to walking up to you. Yeah. And if he try to shoot a shot, you going to give him no time today. But if you call you ugly, I'm like, how dare you ugly-ass little boy just call me ugly. Like and that shit going to be stuck though, in your they, mind. They're going to be thinking about it. Yeah, like, she ain't going to think about it. But if he an ugly nigga trying to shoot a shot. Okay. My point exactly. But if he call you ugly, you going to say, okay, you going to go tell your group chat about the nigga. I don't know what type of females you be around. No, I'm saying general. I never did this. This not. But I'm just giving them some bad advice right now. I never like did this shit, honestly. If a nigga comes up to me personally, and then I'm like, uh, and he's like, 
or he's like, you're ugly or something. I'm going to be like, okay, nigga. Like, I'm not going to be sitting there thinking about, damn, who was that nigga that called me ugly? Who was that? Like, that's weird. You know what that's funny? The camera, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's weird. If you're a normal female, you know that's All right, Bryce, right. please on game, but how would you shoot your shot at a female? Females right here, watch right now. What you saying here? Like, what's your, what's your matter? Me, like, I just walk up to him and just... I don't want to say the game, because yeah, if, yeah, yeah, if, yeah, if I... Because, cause look, look, because... Most of the time, like when I walk up and say something to a female, it's something different each time. Like, shit. it's not going to be the same shit. I mean, sometimes, but I'm not going to say the like shit I be song. saying. Cause that's for them when they hear it. But if y'all really want to know, just DM one of us on Instagram. We had DM you at least one of them. Shit. <laughs> Me, I usually just say well random. Like, they like she got red shoes. I just say some. I don't know. I just say some <laughs> random shit. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I really can't. Ex I got unspoken reds. Like, I I got reds, but like, I don't know my reds. Like, it just. I don't know how to explain it. It's unexplainable reds. But if you want to learn that, just <laughs> hey, just have confidence. What I what I say mainly is have confidence and look them in their eyes. Like when you talk. Oh yeah, girls hate eye contact, but they cannot maintain that shit. If you do that shit, you fucking first night no cap. All right, I'm capping. Um, next question was why are girls' communication skills trash? <laughs> why are niggas communication skills? I feel like we communicate. We, we won't. Y'all get nah. Look, females get their feelings. They just no. stop Post communicating. <laughs> Y'all get on Twitter shit, tweeting this shit. But it, did you just do this? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, first of all, wait, what was the question again? <laughs> oh, okay. First of all, I very much believe that that question is a, a flip question. Genuinely, niggas cannot communicate. They be saying half-ass shit. They be saying whatever sound good, or they don't say none at all. They don't know how to speak genuinely how they feel. They I so really they so worried about their fucking ego. They so worried about their ego. They just say whatever sound good, whatever they think is gonna make you want to keep talking to them. Like. Anyways. Facts. I'll give you that. We do. Females we tell what you want to hear most of the time. I actually need it back. And most of the time when females... We back. We back. All right. Finish going for it. You stopped it. Um, I was saying most of the time if a female is not communicating, it's probably because she's not comfortable and that's like comfortable to communicate with you. Meaning like she knows you're not going to listen or she knows like there's not even no point well, in her to communicate. Like, her if you was explaining stuff like I feel like you're not listening to me, then we'll probably listen to you more because you're telling me you're not listening to me. That's very much true, and I feel like that's true. That's true. Instead of yeah, instead of most females gonna be like, I don't. But I feel like you just feel goofy when you do that. Niggas nah, be making you feel goofy, like, 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 we, act like we, act like they tell us something one time we forget. They gonna automatically get in their feelings automatically instead of like remind us leave one time. But I shouldn't have to remind you. Blah, blah, blah. No, that's not true. I'm saying like I feel like when when females do communicate their feelings and they actually say like what's up, niggas be just like shut, not shutting us down, but like. Just just making us say, feel goofy like, like oh making us feel goofy like i feel like i know you know that i'm what i'm thinking about i don't know y'all communication skills are terrible <laughs> do you know what i'm thinking and about? i feel like we communicate a lot but exactly. we don't the one time i communicate my feelings do you remember what i'm talking about the one time i communicated my feelings but why you talking <laughs> this on camera nigga <laughs> oh this, 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 i don't know my business i mean you never know who watching this exact don't even know my business i'll just say this situation but anyway, like I was saying, boys, I feel like we communicate a little bit too much. But, like, at the same time, if a boy don't communicate, I feel like he think you're going to use that against him in the future. That's probably why he not communicate. Because girls do try to use, like, your little vulnerable state of mind or whatever yeah, to you use it against you. Be an open book with a female. Yeah, you too they open. They try to use that against you. Tell oh, it happens every time. And females communicate by arguing. That's y'all yeah. communication skills. And we only tell what we want y'all to know. You know what I'm saying? We don't tell y'all everything. Like... But if it's something important, I'll tell you type shit. All right, next question is, would y'all ever be in an open relationship? Why and why not? I'll like, oh, with, okay. like, I got a whole, like, hell no. Nah, like, that means that you and your partner can talk to us. Hell no. Nah. If it's like a title, like, girlfriend, boyfriend, hell no. Hell no, let me see. All right, y'all, so I probably would not. I ain't gonna lie. I'm too stingy. Like, like I wouldn't even. Oh, hell no, nah, I wouldn't be in an open relationship. I ain't gonna lie, but. I feel like you want to be in an open relationship, you might want to be single, bro. That's my opinion. I already said my opinion. Hell no. Why not? Be come on now. Like what if it's a two girls? Come, him. come on now. Or two boys. Come on now. No. Come on now. You ain't got no reason why though? Come on now. Alright. Alright, y'all <laughs> no, now. I'm not sharing nothing. That's 
not all right y'all so now we answer basically all the questions y'all asked me from the um you from dealing with youtube the discord my instagram better yet, go join the discord right now if you want to ask the next person that come on the podcast questions my discord link in the description follow me on instagram at one zach we know we're gonna go free flow so we're gonna start with the young Dolph situation i ain't gonna lie y'all i'm not really a young Dolph fan i only listen to like two of his songs at a party maybe i'm not trying to show fake love nothing but Every time you see a black person die, it's just like sad. Like then he was doing so much. He was based like Nipsey Hussle. Like I didn't know who Nipsey Hussle was, but after he died, I did a little research. And nigga was actually doing a lot of his community. I am a black youngster fan, but like I'm a fan, nigga. I ain't got that his beef ain't my beef, nigga. So like I feel like y'all should act like a fan too. Don't pick sides and all that shit, saying fuck pre and all that shit. Like this nigga got mom and shit like that. Yeah. The situation ain't got nothing to do with you. Just don't dive up into it. Don't be in the comments yeah. saying um, yeah. what's your guy do? Yeah. Whatever type shit. All this extra shit, bro. Because, you know, if you was put in that situation, losing a loved one, you wouldn't want that, you know, all the extra attention. And Just, then you wouldn't say it to their face on yeah. God. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, rest in peace and condolences, you know, to his family. Because I know that's tough when you lose somebody who's close to you. So Type shit. Key Glock, too. I think it's his friend, right? Yeah. yeah that's all that I got to say about the situation. What you got to say? Hmm. I feel like it's very sad because black men deserve to grow old and I feel like most of the shit that black men are dying besides like get into police brutality and obviously the system I'm talking about amongst the black community community a lot of people are dying um from black on black crime and I feel like why are we killing our people why are we beefing with each other why are black men not growing old and why are black people taking black people life like come on man you know Okay, next up, we finna talk about the, the baby, and what's her name? Danielle? Danny? Danny. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna start first what I believe, what I believe about the whole Don't situation. Say no, 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 this is some funny shit. I believe it. I believe that the baby is Captain, bro. I'm gonna tell you why. Oh, I'm gonna tell you why, because I know what I what I would do to make a female folk with mad is the exact same thing he did. Like, it's this my side man. chick. She's like, that's shit yeah. I would do to make a girl mad. Yeah. So I feel like he really in love with this whole, like, she is not lying about none of the shit she's saying. He I'm just sorry. Don't want, he just don't want everybody else to see it. Yeah, you trying to play a little tough look for the end. That's what I believe. What you think? First of all, I think it's very disgusting how he spoke about her on social media. And I feel like it's very disgusting how you can speak about somebody who has, who is literally the mother of your child. It don't matter what y'all got going on. It don't matter if y'all beefing, if y'all not together, if y'all together. Why is y'all bringing it to the internet, especially on the level they at? You should never do that in the first place. Even if you're on a lower level, why would you do that? And I, yeah, that's just so disgusting. Like Men should never speak about women like that. Women should never speak about men like that. So why would anybody do that? <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we go with this women empowerment bullshit again. <laughs> but anyway, y'all heard about his brother too. Like, I mean, her brother was trying to fight the baby for like two hundred bands. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, I understand that's your sister shit, bro. I don't think the baby don't want to be doing this shit with. Tommy gonna beat his ass. Shit. Like five foot, five feet tall. That don't mean nothing. First of all, I feel like the baby would probably beat bro ass on some real shit. Even if he don't, his it's gang gonna get his get be, back. Y'all yeah. say somebody gonna be his ass. Not even baby, it's gonna be. Oh, y'all see Stunner for Vegas and Mona Leo yes, pop out. I was like, I ain't lie, I low key, I ain't lie. Like, no, I ain't lie, I low key seen it coming. Yeah, they, they, you seen they post it a long time ago. And it's crazy that they've been up like both of them been yeah, up there at like, Sam and yeah. like yeah, yeah. I was like, that shit low key breaking in there right now. I forgot yeah, about that shit. What what else been trending right now? She low key had a good ass year though. Like she blew up like a lot. Beating mm -hmm. down the walls, wait, beating down the block, something like that. From where she came from. Hell yeah. Young boy dropped a new song that I ain't really listened to it. You listen to it? I know you did. You ain't listen to it? Yeah, no. It dropped, I think, I last night. Where it dropped at? Um, YouTube. Somebody put me on an artist called Yeet. Bro, Loki Hard. Let me know if y'all listen to the Yeet in the comments. He made that little song. I don't want to get copyrighted, though. Let me turn shit off. Ah. How'd y'all do this semester in college? <laughs> Good, but not as good as I wanted to. Yeah. Uh, I could have did better. Honestly, this was my easiest semester, like class wise. What did you get on, on your lab grade? I don't even want to check. That's how bad Bro, that. I got a good grade. I got a good grade. <laughs> I know I didn't. I ain't no way I got an 80. Me and Zach got weather and climate lab together, y'all. And None that shit. That shit is stupid, bro. We oh, just let's, get some, let's get some advice to people that's coming to college next semester or next oh, year. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give y'all my top oh, two. I, have the I got two. Now I got two. Do not join big friend groups when you first come to college because people will be coming to you. They be trying to like them to promote like it's a yeah. business, nigga. Like, like don't let nobody claim you as a friend group when you first come. Like, you got to be, be around person. them people. Yeah. yeah, just talk to everybody. Because then once groups start beefing shit, they want y'all to pick a side. They want you to do all this. 
You gotta watch out who you be friends with and shit, cause fake friends are real. That shit ain't just high school. It's watch college you, too. Watch who you talk to up in college too, cause not everybody gonna be cool with you. They might laugh in your face behind your back, they on your ass. Yep. What you gotta say? Well, don't look at <laughs> Um, I feel like, like just in general, coming yes, to college, yeah. um, for females, number one rule, if you're a freshman, don't fall in love with nobody. Don't be caked up. Don't do that shit. I promise you. I promise you you'll regret that shit. That is, I've heard everybody, a lot of my friends. No, 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 no. Let's say it just depends. It depends. I mean, it do depend, but I'm just saying, like, genuinely, don't jump into college just expecting to be with someone. Like, oh, yeah, nah, genuinely nah, 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 enjoy nah. college. Like, that, like, like, enjoy college. Like, there's so much more in college than just, like, worrying about somebody. Like, honestly, enjoy your time while you're here because you got the whole rest of your life to be caked up and my you trying to take the mic Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh the friend thing definitely i feel like do not join no friend group necessarily like you can have a friend group of people that you will hang out with but don't just like like section yourself off to one friend group yeah, and be like this is my friend group and like shit. i can't hang out Ooh. with nobody else don't yeah on guard niggas used to try to do that shit like they used to try to like they had like this big ass friend. I used to never join it. I was the only nigga that would never join the ship. They only hung out with each other. They wouldn't let them. They wouldn't never hang out with other people. Like you would never be able to branch out. Like you like in a box. But then you start meeting new people. Cause there's a lot of dope ass people in college. There's a lot of friendly ass people. I, like I ain't think people are this friendly in college. That you gotta meet. And they like connections. That's why I came to college for connections. So if I was to hang out with just one friend, I wouldn't be doing my purpose here in college. Another thing I would say is for my girls, bro. I'm gonna let y'all know this right now. It's a lot of weird ass niggas in college. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Like, bro, I'll be at parties and I'll be hearing niggas say, oh, I'm gonna get that girl drunk just so I can fuck. Like, bro, that shit is weirdo energy. And for the niggas, Protect yourself. Don't for, be doing that, please. For the niggas, it's a lot of weird ass females too. So don't think you get the Yeah, they yeah. same way that you, the niggas be trying to get the girls drunk, the girls be trying to get the niggas drunk the same way. So you gotta watch out. Cause then, uh, man, fuck that. And do not fuck ground and influence if you sober, bro. That shit weird. That's all I gotta say. Cause I really, that's one of the biggest things I've been seeing since I've been here. Like, Niggas is weird. You got anything to say? Oh, and I feel like you should get on top of your work early in the semester so you bro, can slack off oh at the end. Oh, my gosh. Yes, bro. That was my biggest thing this semester. Last year, I did good. But this first semester of sophomore year, bro, like, if you do not go in the beginning of the first, like, part of the semester, just do your shit because, like, trying to catch up at the end and trying to make up for that shit is just not it. Anything else before we switch topics? Uh, no, I ain't really got nothing. All right, so next topic. What is y'all top five red flags and somebody like what's a red flag that you be noticing that you don't fuck with? My red flag would be I would say one that they argue a lot. That they argue a lot. It's a red flag. Especially if we just met. You arguing about nothing like I mean, just imagine long term you actually get to know me. I'm like fuck no. Yeah. What's your, what's a red flag for you? We going like one one one. Yeah, we go like that. Um. I feel like being too like do at first like I feel like coming on way too strong way too fast. Yeah, probably mean they trying to. Yeah, like you know we all know how that ends, and I feel like it. Wait, how, we, how to end? I don't know how to end. Hello, I feel like I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's a big red flag to me if a nigga's trying to just spit everything, say everything right, and just be too like invested in me at first. I feel like I feel like. Alright, anyway, y'all. Yeah, you trying to explode? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kind of and nah. Uh, anyway, y'all, you know, Scott. Wow. I told y'all a few months delusion. I'm gonna list stuff for you and y'all watching this. You know, she nah, just be saying shit. Nobody, like, come on now. No, Alright, red flags for me. Another red flag would probably be. Hmm. If yeah, you just put too much personal information on the internet, like if you on the internet talking about like real life situations too much, I'll be like, hell like, no. What's an like, example? like let's say you like you beefed up on the internet. Like why are you beefed up? Like I hate that shit. Like if you beefed up with somebody else, just imagine if me you going bad turn, you would probably get that whole expose me, trying to get off, go on my shit. shit. Another red flag is if they constantly talk about like money. Like they like, damn, what car you drive? Damn, what's this? Oh, God, Damn. like, how much money you make? I ain't lie, I never really had this, but I had it. Nah, I ain't lie, I ain't really had this experience too much. But, like, one time, it was a one girl, like, she used to just always bring up something to little man. And, like, nigga, I'm a broke nigga, like, I'm just now getting some okay shit. Like, nigga, I've been broke my whole fucking life. Like, what we talking about? Like, every girl I talk to had more money than me, damn near. So, I don't get why she kept talking about money and shit. Fuck that. I'm broke in the bitch. Try to do that, try to finesse a nigga, like. Come on, bro. And then do we look green? Cause on God, I am not a green ass nigga. You in for like, rude awakening. Like, 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 like I'm typing in there a cash shape. Like, I ain't never cashed up a girl in my life. On yeah. God. I want y'all girls to know this. Y'all watching this kind of people that be watching my podcast, I be texting sometimes. So I want y'all to know this. I would never cash up you money. <laughs> so don't look at me expecting like nigga, look how I dress. Do it like I got money, nigga. I wear the same shit. What's another red flag for you? 
Um. Oh, but then what's the green flag? You can't think of red flag. What's the green flag? Green flag for me is like if I've seen them in person, hygiene. Hygiene. Oh yes. Uh, yeah, if you smell good, so I like girls hygiene, that smell good. Hygiene, everything like that, of course. Um, I feel like body language, not body language, but like mannerism. That's a green flag. Like how you how you talk, how you speak to me. If you're respectful. you know, type of girls like I like girls that just like type of girls that put lotion on my leg, like soft walk. Girl, I don't want a girl like that. So that's a green flag for me. Like I feel like you would gently just shit. put lotion on my leg, and I can just sit back. You like a slave to me. I like slaves. That's what I'm. I don't wear, you know I haven't worn lotion all year? Like, no, Kel, I haven't put on lotion out one time all year. Why? I don't know why, I just don't have you the time, like, bro. I don't give a fuck, like, oh my I don't God. know. Bro, roast the fuck out of his head. No, this shit not even funny, cause I swear to God, no cross can I put on lotion out one time. don't wear lotion. No, I do, just not this year. I wore it last year. I just been too lazy this year. How do you me. just choose one year not to wear lotion? Cause I just get lazy. Like we in college, like bro. Once y'all come to college, bro, you think I'm gonna be wearing fits every day? You not. You gonna be wearing shorts, Crocs, I mean, and a hoodie. Some on and some fucking lotion. Lotion, it just don't matter. Cause I just take a bath and just go outside. I don't be giving a fuck. Okay. Anyway, another green flag for me would probably be um. Mm, I don't wanna say too much, cause girls be changing themselves just for you type shit. Cause I ain't realize how many people were watching my podcast. Like I said, like uh, people been coming to me about my podcast uh, saying shit. A green flag for me is like if you can hold a conversation. Oh yes, I hate boring girls. That's a good one. That's actually a good one. Cause girls be boring as fuck sometimes. I do not feel like caring to come to the air time. Like I will put you in my bag a few times, like Bro, once I or twice that, type shit. I hate a what you doing, what you doing ass nigga. Bro, what should we say other than what you doing? Cause I'm definitely a what you doing, what you doing ass Bro, nigga. <laughs> if you if if the communication just ain't coming, then it's just not there. I feel like you should not have to think too much on what you finna say to somebody. Like if you just click with somebody and y'all can talk, y'all can talk. Like facts, facts. No what you say. That's a sign right there. I like that advice. Cause I guess I'm finna stop texting this girl. She, I think it's time. What you doing? What you doing? Nah, it's a lot of girls that be doing it. Like, I feel like they don't be doing what to say. Like, cause I ain't like a lot of people be thinking like, I'm not talk explaining. About your day. Like, talk about something. Don't like ask me how my day was, cause then that's gonna feel like you're in love. Like, bro, today I seen some crazy shit. Like, talk about what you're talking about. Yeah, that's a random. Like, I know. I'm saying, nah, some people actually don't. Nah, fuck that. We got, we got to get us some conversation started. Cause I'm glad everybody do not know how to do that. Not everybody. You could just be like. Bro, it's literally just Easy, conversation. Like, Ask, like, it talk, think of the person standing in front of you and what you would be doing, like talking to them. You wouldn't just be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Nah, I bet it. I'm good. Just talk normal. Just talk right, normal. Do you feel like you're like, better in person or through the messages? In person. You think I am not a, bro, you know I don't be answering the phone. Come on now. I don't, I do not, I am not a texter, bro. Like, I'm there. Like, if you text me, I'm going to respond to you. But, like, yeah. I cannot sit up texting all day. Like, I'm a very much in person, like, very much in person person, like. Me, I feel like I'm I'm better in person, but I'm starting to get good at texting too. Like I'm not, I don't do it too often, but I'm starting to get good. Like cause I don't even know what to say to a message. Like I don't, you give me too much time to think. Sit up, dry texting all day. Yeah, like it'd be kind of dry. Like I want to see you in person. I want to see you got the same energy talking. Like girls be talking. You know what I'm saying? They be teasing and shit through the phone. Don't, and don't do that same shit in person, nigga. Keep that same energy. Feel too long, bro. I'm telling you, like it's not worth it. You then, be wasting that. You be using that time and energy for something else. Yeah, cause she can know that she don't. Nah, look, a girl can know that they don't want to focus you, and they still gonna entertain you, just like a nigga. We entertain them too. But they gonna entertain you just because they know they a no language. They gonna keep bullshitting you, keep texting you all the time. So if you texting her for more than two weeks and you, she don't link. You ain't even got a Facetime. It could just be a simple phone call. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. I'll just call her. But at the same time, I don't know. Well, what you gonna say when you call her? That's easy, nigga. Like it just say anything. Like imagine. On me. I mean, I be forgetting that shit. Like can't forget that. Oh, I got a so flag. What? Oh, what were you finna say? I feel like another green flag for me would be somebody who want to make time for you. Like, somebody who reach out to you first to, like, see you or to, like, make plans with you. Like, you don't want to always feel like you have to be like, oh, like, we should do this. We should do our, like, let, like no, like, make time, make plans. Like, I want to come over today. Like, let's do this. Don't even, like, ask, like, you want to do something? Like, be like, no, I'm coming over today. Like, let's cook. Let's, let's go somewhere. Let's, you know. All right, hell, that's not advice for everybody. She's like, boy, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just go in and say, you got to know you, like, in there well, no, type shit. I'm saying don't ask. Asking the fact be like, don't like be smooth with it. Don't yeah. just every day be like, um, what you doing? Like, you wanna hang out today? I wanna see you today. Can I see you today? Can I see you today? Like, don't be like that. Just be like, what's up? Like, you trying to spend time together? Not that. Don't say that. She trying to hold you. Oh god. Nah, but you could just be like, what's up? Like, what you doing later on? Or be like, uh, you trying to kick it later on? Like something like that. You, you gotta see how that sound though. Like, yeah, yeah, like say it, say it out loud. 
<laughs> and yeah. say it in the lamest way you can possibly. What like, you on later on? Like I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, it depends. I ain't like you. Got, like, another like thing. I'm just gonna think you're trying. To think kind of like me personally. I know personnel. Like I know like certain females. I talk to certain ways. Like some females, yeah. you gotta come direct, aggressive. Some females, you gotta play a little slack on. Not, like, not, not really. Like you can really just do the same shit for everything. Nah, female. nah. You got no person. Nah, that's not true. Cause some females be more aggressive. For some females like a softer than like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, that's what I'm saying. You just gotta play yourself. Don't fold. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> <Don't fall. laughs> like me ain't never fall. You know me. You know I don't be falling at all. Let's not care for that camera. But you know me. Get my P card back, nigga. <laughs> Let's see. What else can we talk about on the podcast? Oh yeah, what do you think a man should bring, like a man should bring to the table? What should a man bring to the table? Yeah. Hmm. And you put your age in consideration to this. Uh, I feel like niggas be so immature at this age, though. I feel like somebody, some, let me see. I feel like what a man should bring to the table is support. Somebody who listens to you, who communicates and doesn't always have to speak, but genuinely listens to you and pays attention to what you say. Somebody who pays attention to your interests, like is interested in things you're interested in, even if they're not interested in it, but they take the time to like want to see you happy doing something you like to do uh somebody who's loyal duh you gotta be loyal and somebody who could cook because you gotta cook a little bit like i mean like cook i need a nigga who could cook in the kitchen we could both be in the but kitchen cooking you feel me yeah. Yeah. Okay, hey, well, not like that, your I'm job your job I'm not, what I'm the fuck sexist, I'm, just saying like I'm saying as a woman i do take pride in cooking like of course i want to cook my man a meal like i want to do that as a woman but like i feel like sometimes it's nice for a man to cook too like sometimes i want to be cooked for like you feel me like you don't always i feel like somebody who doesn't expect to just like expect traditional point views like that like puts in effort also like i'm gonna cook tonight babe you feel me that's good oh it's guy did you answer this question i think you did a long time ago on like that first video we did a long time ago answer this shit again what's the top five things well you kind of just named it low key i'll say that you look for into a guy you kind of just named it low key though respect respect good hygiene good hygiene funny funny hold conversation hold conversation so like interesting slash hold conversation and going somewhere like I like a man who's in college who if not if you're not in college you have a career like not no nigga who's like I'm working here then well, if a nigga like a SoundCloud rapper would you fuck with SoundCloud rapper? Personally, am I personally no offense to all of you amazing SoundCloud rappers out there. Man, stop being nice, man. Tell them how it is, bro. Uh, fuck that. You too fucking nice. Personally, I just cannot see at my by my age, I just genuinely can't see that. Like I want someone who like like I feel like have something that could be right, something nigga, on the side. You I'm almost I'm twenty in like nineteen days actually. Yeah, but you sit down. Happy birthday. To Thank you. But no, yeah. I'm saying like I feel like I could support my nigga like if he if he already has a career path and he's already working on something making income how, how and then him come him? to me. How would you support him though? If my nigga, if my nigga already is making a steady income, like already making a steady income, and he comes what's to me the, and he's like, like, like oh yeah, I'm saying what's steady income? Ha, I'm saying like has a decent job, like has like I like, I feel like the only time I could see myself really messing with like a SoundCloud yeah, 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 rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broke, yo, what you date a broke nigga? What you date a broke nigga? Forty-five thousand a year. Oh, that's a lot for an eighteen-year-old. That's, that's still good money. That's a lot. Dude. Um, I feel like I feel like I would date a nigga who's um on the come up. All right, would you date a broke nigga? That's what I'm asking. Like a dead broke. I would not break date a broke nigga who is not going nowhere. If you broke in the moment, like everybody be down sometimes, I can support you. I could I could support somebody who's working on their situation, but I so can't. So they trying to get it, but they broke and they trying to get money. You will fuck with them. Yeah, like okay, let me. My yeah, what you doing? What are you doing to do that though? Are you don't a nigga who too comfortable in his situation? I could never fuck with. Okay, that was okay. One of the best answers a female that gave on this channel. Cause it's been some bad answers. One girl said, and I quote, I don't need a nigga for shit. He can be broke as long as he got good dick. <laughs> and what the other girl said? She said no, right? Um, what did Jalen say? I forgot what Jalen said. I think she said no. And Kennedy said no. Yeah, so most girls said they wouldn't date a broke dude. Skylar said she would. Let me know in the comments. I, I said... Think. I would if they He's going trying somewhere. to get out their situation. See, I, I won't date no broke nigga who's just comfortably being broke. Fuck no. 
Why I can understand like you just got laid off or like some happened with some like life happens, shit happens, yeah. like life really genuinely fucking happens. But like, are you comfortable in that situation though? Like, I could never be with somebody who comfortable. You in like that a situation. hustler? That's what you. Yes, because I'm hustling hard, baby. Okay. Duh. <laughs> Head <laughs> ass. But yeah, y'all, if y'all made this for in the podcast, man, I need y'all to like the fucking video right now. Like, comment. go. Yeah, comment something. Y'all niggas be scared to comment. Like, that shit is free. Like, nigga, take two seconds. Put the I'm going to quote from the video when one of us said, you know, just on some simple but shit. But now, if you made this far, I want you to comment um, your Instagram name, right? And then follow me on Instagram at one Zach. And if you DM me your comment, I'm going to put your name on the screen so everybody can go fucking follow you. How about that? So the first person to do that will be on the screen. Fuck it. Let's see who's really watching this shit. I'm still doing that every video low-key. Yeah. Put somebody's little name on the screen. All right, bet. So if you DM me on Instagram right now at one Zach, comment down below and screenshot it. I'm going to put your Instagram name on the screen so everybody that make it in the next podcast can watch you. Anyway, next up, um, what should we talk about? Do y'all believe in aliens? I know it's off topic. I know it's kind of weird. Do y'all believe in aliens and why? Um, yes, I believe in it. Yes, I believe in aliens because I feel like if you are genuinely educated, you will know how big the universe is. And not only is this universe big, but there's so many different universes. Like, there's just no way in hell that we are the only people out there. Like, there's no way, bro. Not even people. It could just be a, a, like life in general. I ain't gonna lie, there's a lot of shit out there, though. Remember that Area 49 shit? I feel like that ain't real, though. I don't feel like shit there. Because why would they put a place there? We'll know. Triangle. triangle. I feel like that shit kept. Even though that Malaysia airplane did disappear a long time ago. You feel like they. I feel like like that triangle shit kept. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that shit real. I I don't want to test it either. I ain't finna go out there with shit. I still don't believe it. You believe in aliens? I believe that there is something else out there besides this. Not necessarily aliens, because oh. we could be. What y'all thoughts on the woke people? I hate woke people. I don't give a fuck, oh, but I, I hate woke people. Fuck, so don't ask me. Oh I'm God, I'm gonna right get your fucking ass. I'm gonna tell you why I hate woke people, bro. I could be in here like we talking right now to y'all, right? They could be like, his nigga ain't woke. He making a video. He don't understand. That's what the higher power would want him to do. Like, shut the <laughs> fuck up. And another thing I hate, but I can't say I hate this on camera. But I'm gonna hold you real quick, so I tell him. <laughs> With what? I can't say okay. Bro, can I, I bro? No, the mic is there. Move the mic. I don't want to hear it because the girls like to talk to me. Oh, oh. I hate those type of girls, bro. Don't like them. Oh, God. I can't even say it on camera, but I just don't like these certain type of girls. Nah, y'all probably know what they is. Y'all, y'all kind of skipped these things when y'all was kids, if you know what I'm saying, on water. But I didn't want to say the name because, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about Zodiac sign nowadays? Because most females oh, judge, judge shit off Zodiac signs. I don't think I judge people on their Zodiac mm, I don't judge. Oh, she do. No, nah, you I do. You say, mm, you do. I'm saying I don't judge somebody on their Zodiac signs, but I, if you really do do, like, research, like, Zodiac signs really do, like, have people, I'm Zodiac signs genuinely, like, sh- there's characteristics in everybody that they really show of their zodiac sign. I mean, of course they just study like people. Like, no, I, like every zodiac sign, if you're genuinely educated, like. She always said, Gene, like, we dumb on our fucking. Yeah, <laughs> she said, like, we dumb as She keeps saying educated. Like, nigga. I'm saying, like, if you, like, look into it, like, zodiac signs, I don't believe in that. Like, I don't believe in them. I'm going to tell you why, because, like, how old they know. Yeah, I believe in God I believe too. In God. But look, how would they know though? Like Think about this: they don't have no calendar when the Earth really starts. They don't know if we really in January right now. We could be in February. They don't know that shit. It's not based on that. It's based at the angle of the sun and moon and. No, in months though, how can you get everybody birthday? It's like a month, like. I feel, like, I, are I feel like March. the zodiac shit is just general terms and that applies to people and people just take that and, and they're just like, oh, they're like yeah. I had to beat that whole ass because I'm an Aries you know I'm aggressive like, shut the <laughs> fuck up bro like you're just a human <laughs> girl should be saying anything personality goddamn oh god do y'all let fucking man fuck this zodiac sign shit that's just an excuse to be a dumbass an asshole What's whatever y'all want to call it sign? not telling you because they say you like bring us shit what is it Aquarius. Oh, fuck no. I don't know. A Taurus? Well, I'm not finna tell you. It don't matter. Anyway, next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Yeah, yeah. Capricorn. I Apricorn. I was one of them, bro. See? Y'all was capping. I'm not that. Sh- bro, next topic. Swear to God. Are you a Virgo? <laughs> you a Virgo? Oh! Oh! Hey, swear to God. She goes, I know. You just guessed, nigga. I and- swear no. I swear. Oh, Dude, bro. Going, bro. Bro, it's, I can say this part a lot, but it's just because, like, how you responded to questions or, like, how you're person. Like, you're very, like, oh melatonin. Oh, my God. But look. I don't care. I'm going to tell you something. Come. What? Go. Go. Huh? Did you hear me? Oh, well, yeah. Damn. 
<laughs> <Why would> you... <laughs> Nothing. No, nah, she was. You can tell after, yeah. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else we can talk about? So that's crazy, bro. Anyway. Anyway, y'all, I'm sorry for getting off topic. Next thing we're gonna talk about is we gotta leave them with something good. The last topic gotta be something good. I'm trying to think of something good. You should bring your dog in here. Coco? No. Go get your dog. No, for real, no, get your dog. Somebody talk bad she's sleeping for one two if somebody talk bad okay look how about this get this video to 100 likes and next video we'll, we'll bring coco out all right so she said y'all get us to one like we'll bring the dog out in the next <laughs> to video one like. <laughs> one like we're gonna make a video with the dog all right y'all before we end this i got one more thing i want Skylar to do for y'all she finna tell y'all her biggest simp story even though she gonna say she never simp before we want to hear your biggest simp story i have to think you have to think you know you got one in the back of your head. No, I really, I really have not. You don't simp? No. Swear to God, I, you don't simp. Zach, you literally know how I Swear to God, you don't simp. I don't, brother, on the simpiest moment in my no, life. No, say nothing recent. No, exactly. I mean, so. you can if you want to, but. No. Um. Everybody got a simp story. Everybody, I ain't hearing mine again. I already told y'all. Basically doing something for somebody you know they wouldn't do for you. Or going over and beyond for somebody. That you know, damn sure they bro, would. Bro, this was the most dumb shit I'll ever. I'll never do this for a nigga ever again. Mm -hmm. Bro, my ex, give me this. My ex, he had like he had like failed college, right? So mm -hmm. like, I literally set up his advice appointment, like went through his appointment with him, went looked through the email that his advisor sent him, register for him all registered him for all his classes like made sure everything was right he had no clue how to do that shit like none of it bro made sure he was registered for all his classes and then like right after i registered and he was all set for the semester he broke up with me like the day after i swear to god wait how that is, like, I was like, damn register for classes is crazy i feel bro. like that's so simple like why would i bro i know i was sitting up there like stressing like Trying to really figure that sh shit stressful for yourself, let alone doing that. Wait, so you sitting in a meeting with him? Bro, like, I literally like set up his advising appointment. Literally, like listen to so him. So he got what he needed out of you. Yes, just and dumb job. Like, <laughs> but we had been dating before that. But like, bro, you bro. So you said like right after meeting ended, he was also. Have y'all really been dating? Like. Yes. No. We were we were dating, and then like. like have y'all did y'all post each other? Yes. Yeah, so like we were dating. That nigga was done with your ass. You you was too toxic or something. He said I gotta get the fuck away from her. He was done with you. Don't look at me. Why you always look at me? Like you know, I don't know nothing, bro. <laughs> Anyways, bro. <laughs> bro, you gotta stop doing that, bro. People think I'll be doing bro. shit. I don't know nothing, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm just here so I don't get fine. But anyway, y'all, that's the end of the podcast. I know this one's shorter than normal, but we all got shit to do today. Even though it's like 12 o'clock. Man, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Any final words to people you want to leave them with? Uh, Move right. Just move right. <laughs> I moved right because she... Wait, I went left because she did me. Wait, fuck. I'm trying to think of like something wrong. I treat the girl right or she going to leave you left. You leave her left. You got to do her right. Then you hit no, her with the treat, bike. Treat her right. Knock her ass like Mike. <laughs> hit her with that say? spike. Put her ass on the light. All right, and the, the rap not for you. Just say some final words to people. Goodbye, y'all. Make sure y'all drink y'all water. Make sure y'all stay prayed up per usual. And make some money. All right, y'all. And like Zach video. Real nigga shit. But anyway, y'all, it's the end of the fucking podcast, man. I'm going to try to get this whole up tomorrow, which is the day before Thanksgiving. But if you watch this on Thanksgiving... Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Make sure y'all be... Wait, what else is Make sure y'all eat all Make, the good food. Nah, fuck the food. I mean, not fuck the food, but fuck Make the sure food. Like Make, food. Make sure y'all be grateful and shit like that, man. Go tell your mom you love her, your daddy you love her. Tell your dog, all that shit, and we out.